Hello Facebook, YouTube, the day of Uriel, the Archangel, God is our prayer. No, not uh, uh, Wooden. He's a false god. Don't acknowledge him. Don't acknowledge false gods. Alright, topic of the message. It's November 25th and tomorrow's Thanksgiving. Now, and the topic of the message is talking about uh, Thanksgiving is truly living. Uh, Thanksgiving is truly living, all right. But, but the, what we need to understand as Christians, you know, uh, that we, you know, it's in Colossians that we must understand that we need to be built, and you know, we need to be rooted and built up in the reality of Thanksgiving and what it's all about. Uh, that's how we live our lives, but. I, I want to talk about this that God taught me about Thanksgiving, you know, and that we need to understand as Christians that, I mean, well, as people, well, Thanksgiving is all about teaching you and Thanksgiving is all throughout the Old Testament and New Testament. So the thing is, Thanksgiving is what God is truly all about you know what i'm saying i mean this is one of his most important idea of factors that we're supposed to live every day you know what i'm saying every day of our life is supposed to be about thanksgiving and the thing is when we come to we need to learn to come to understand it because thanksgiving is about teaching us that you know we have already received the gift you already have a gift, and a gift has already been given to you. You know what I'm saying? Life, health, and strength, and stuff like that. That is the gift, what has been given to you. Because here's the thing that, you know, I learned from uh, uh, for, uh, Psalms 100, that I like, the, it says that, you know, we, for, we have, we, he has made us, not we ourselves. See, we think we created this earth and we now living on something that is ours. No, nope, the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof, you know, uh, Psalms 24. But we carry on, you know, people are carrying on that, oh, this is this world is theirs. You know, I did a message of that yesterday. But the thing is being Thanksgiving is all about like the thanks give. And you put the ing that means continuously it's a life that's understanding that guess what this is not my earth someone has given me life you know what i'm saying someone has given me clothes someone has given i already have a gift and i am a pre now what happens when you realize that you already have a gift you become more appreciative you become more grateful for what is already given to you, and you will magnify the pre the thing you will magnify the get given. That's what King David, you know, did in all majority of his psalms. He was magnifying the gift that God has already given him and already given his people, the children of Israel. That you given this this promise, us. you given everything that we have is given. You know what I'm saying? That, you know, and I, God taught me about the, you know, the Psalms 23rd. You know, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. Or more likely, the Lord has provided me with everything that I need. I should not need to want after anything else. You know what I'm saying? I already have a gift. I already have something with substance that I appreciate. That I'm totally grateful of is what really thanksgiving is all about and it's how we're supposed to be living if we truly want to live life and life more well. but when we feel that we need something and we're needing something from the earth and like i told you about the earth ingredients more likely the earth dangerous ingredients is it's without form is Genesis 1 and 2, without form, void, darkness. You know what I'm saying? 
uh, that's what it is. It's going to lead us to darkness. And void means empty. We're going to always be empty when we think that the people and things around us is becomes our gift. You know what I'm saying? That that and well, it's a gift that 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 we need them. But the thing is, is we need to understand and learn that we already have a gift. The people that are around us, the people that be there for us, these are our gifts. And we need to realize that, you know, that's but that's what Thanksgiving is all about. And when you truly learn Thanksgiving, you truly can live life. Because people are right now living life that thinking that, oh, I'm empty, oh, I feel bad, I... Oh, I don't have nobody like me. Oh, nobody really cares about me. And stuff like that. People are living their life like that. But that is a lie. You know what I'm saying? There's someone that does love you. You know what I'm saying? That God loves you. There's a creator that loves you. That there, There's a son that gave his life for you that loves you. And the thing is, what? Well, guess what? You only see him from your own spectrum. You know what I'm saying? You only see him from your viewpoint. You're not seeing from an overall viewpoint that you need to see that uh, that people that you are loved and you you someone has given you something that you need to realize and you need to appreciate this more and more because I tell people you know what I'm saying if you can't have Thanksgiving you can't really celebrate any gift see you can't even celebrate any gift that's given to you because. You think that all oh, this gift going to give me the answer of my happiness. All oh, this earthly gift is going to answer my, what the longing inside of me that I wanted this and that. All oh, this gift is going to be that answer. And all of a sudden, zoop. Oh, I'm tired of this gift. Oh, yeah, whatever. I had it for a while. whoop de doo whatever. You know, that's the rhythm and roll that goes on pretty much every Christmas, you know. They get the gift, they play with it, they do it, and ah, whatever, you know, it's not, you know. And it's now you're back to empty, you know, and now you need another earthly gift. And this is this, you could go through this foolish cycle all you want to. But the thing is, look, Thanksgiving, I-N-G suffix behind it, a continuously reality or reminder that guess what a gift is already given to me this love that people this this life that's living to me and the thing is people like to say life sucks life is bad life is bad like i did a message no the bad choices that people made and you have made are bad life is wonderful life is great life is beautiful but unfortunately people made bad choices that lead to bad directions for people to do bad things that cause bad bad people in the world to interfere with good people in their life. And that's what's making things bad. Life is not making them bad. The choices that people make, making it bad. And the thing is, life is wonderful. Life is beautiful. See, how come I saw that? Because I was in a place of Thanksgiving that you can see reality. You really, you can see the reality of what really is life is supposed to be all about, and life is supposed to be consistent. And Thanksgiving will help you see that, as King Solomon, I mean King David, shows you in his own letters of how much he appreciates all the things that has been his people given to him and given to his people, the Israel. You know, and that's what it's when you learn. That, you know, to appreciate and be thankful for all the things that is given to you. Life is will be continuously wonderful. But when Satan start tricking you, say you need something outside of what the Lord is your shepherd. You need something outside. You need to want after other things. And then outside of God, that's when life get in trouble. You know what I'm saying? And the thing is, and your desires get in trouble. So you're going to try to find answers in things, like I said, that of a world, of an earth, that is the ingredients is without form, void, darkness. And you're going to get caught up in that nonsense. And that's what, you know, this terrible world 
will give you. But I'm here to encourage you to learn how to be more thankful for what God is giving you is when you can truly live life and life more abundantly in John 10.10. 10. But if you live the opposite, you live the other John 10.10. 10. Satan will steal and kill and destroy your life, your dreams, your hopes of you fulfilling your purpose. You will really be acceptable of that because you think that you want something beyond of God's provision, which really is the, God taught me, the universal sin of creation. Never want something beyond what God has provided us that we must learn. You will learn in thanksgiving that, like I said, it's all through the Old Testament and New Testament that God is very important for us to understand and realize if we want life and life more abundantly. All right, that's the message. I hope you have uh, understand that Thanksgiving is the only way you can be truly living. If you don't understand it, Satan is going to still kill and destroy you and, and leave voids inside you that you will be empty and you will be miserable and wonder why your life is so terribly bad. That's what it happens. But that's the message to God be the glory. Here and forever and ever in Jesus' name, amen.